welcome back to my channel uh, today i will show you how i did my meshes skirt uh, you can wait on the beach you can wait in summertime uh, you can wait in any fashionable way this is the hook that i'm going to be using it's 4.0 millimeters and this is the stainless scissor that i'm going to be using and this is my measure that i'll be using to tap the measurements of my skirt so let's get into it we are going to start with our working on uh, on a chain this is our start my chain and i hopefully uh, you know how to make a chain so let's chain up to 24 inches because my waist measurement is 24 so you will also chain um up to your uh, own waist measurement so this one is um size small so which means if you wanna do medium you will chain up to 26 to 27 if you want to do large you will chain up to 30 if it's more extra large you will chain up to 40 but today i will chain up to 24 inches um according to my waist measurements so you will continue working on your chain until you are at your waist measurements then i will show you what to do uh, when you get there so here we are with our chain and let's do some measurement and see um how far we have gone we so here it is on 24 inches um 24 inches uh, so then you also chain do not stretch it too much because if you stretch it too much it will be too small and when it's too small then it won't pass your shoulders you struggle to wear your skirt then you will join your chain like this with a slip stitch this is how you will join your chain like this with the slip stitch and now we are going to chain two and we are going to be working on double crochet so on that first stitch we are working on double crochet uh hopefully you know how to do a double crochet if you don't know how to do a double crochet check uh one of my videos on my channel I think I posted one on how to do a double crochet. So continue working on your double crochet until you are at the end of the chain, which is I will see you uh, when you are here working on a double crochet. Here we are at the end of our row. So I am working on on my last um, stitches on the chain so you will chain uh, you will slip slip on top of the um, chain two that we made then you do your slip stitch like this and then you will turn your work like uh, this and you will be working you will chain two and then you continue uh, making double crochet so you will start working on your double crochet on that first stitch with the double crochet and on your second you make a double crochet you will continue working on double crochet until you are here so you will work on three rows of double crochet uh, you, when you are at the end you will chain two then you turn your work only three which is if you make this one you will only left with another row then i'll show you what to do when you are done with um with three rows so continue working on your double crochet until we have three rows and then i'll show you what to do so here we are on our third row working on double crochet so you will slip stitch on top of the um second chain like this so your work is supposed to look like this when you are done with your um three rows so we made one two three so you can also go ahead and make three rows if you want it to be more you can but it won't look nice so you can just stick on three rows or two rows so now you will um i will show you uh, what to do on this next so you will chain one and work on single crochet so one single crochet then you will chain nine so you'll chain one two three four five 
six, seven, eight, nine. Then after chaining nine, you will count nine stitches. So you'll be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On the ninth stitch, you will insert your hook like this and work on a single crochet. On the next stitch, you will work on a single crochet. So after working on your single crochet, you will chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then also you will count nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then on the ninth stitch, you will insert your hook and work on um, single crochet. On the next stitch, you will work on a single crochet. Then you will chain nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine make them loose don't make them too tight make them big loose then you will continue to count nine one two three four five six seven eight nine on the ninth stitch you will insert your hook and work on a single crochet on the second stitch after a single crochet you make another single crochet then after you are done with your second single crochet you will chain nine So this is how you will do it until you are back um, from the beginning where we started. So let me show you one more time. You will count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On the ninth stitch, you will insert your hook and work on a single crochet. On the second stitch, you work on a single crochet and then you chain nine. So you will continue all around until um, until you are back from at the beginning where we started then i'll show you what to do when you get there so here we are at the end of of the row so you will chain also nine and count one two three four five six seven eight so you will be left with eight stitches then you will uh, slip stitch on top of um that chain two that we made and this is how you will slip stitch And you slip stitch like this then you will be done with the first row then you will work on single crochet the stitch that is remaining the first one which is the stitch uh, which is a single crochet you will work on a single crochet on the stitch sorry my yarn is fixing up and the second one you will also work on a single crochet and you will chain nine one two three four five six seven eight nine then what you do next uh, remember we we're making single crochet you will insert your hook on that um on that single crochet that we made like this then you will work another single crochet on top of that one then the next one also you will work a single crochet on top of that one then you will chain nine eight nine then you will do the same thing again when you are here you will insert your hook on that single crochet that we made like this then you work another single crochet on top of that one the next one you work another single crochet on top of that one then you will chain nine then you do the same thing when you get here you will work on and that single crochet uh, that we made and work another single crochet the next single crochet you work another single crochet and then you chain nine you do the same thing when you are here as when you made your single crochet you are making another single crochet on top of the one that you made you make another one the next one and you chain nine so this is what you will do until you are back where we started here then i'll show you what we do on the third row so work um your chains and when you get here you make a single crochet you make a chain a single crochet chain until you are back where we started then i'll show you what to do when you get there so here we are on our second row 
um, of making chains so we are at the end then you will continue with your chain nine and then you will slip stitch on top of that um, chain chain one that we made and then now you will work on you will chain one and work on that single crochet that is on it looks like it's on the back always and then the second one you are working on a single crochet again now we are working on a third row and your work is supposed to start to show how it looks so we are working on the third row you will chain nine again and work on your single crochet here Work your single crochet here. The next one also you work on your single crochet and you chain nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then you you will do the same thing until um you are at the end of roll three. Then we will start to increase on roll four. So this is how you will do it until um, you are done with this row three. So I'll see you when we are back here where we started our row three. Then I'll show you what to do on row four. Here we are at the end of row three. And you will slip stitch on top of that first chain that we made. And this is how you slip stitch. And then you chain one and work on that first stitch with a single crochet the second stitch with a single crochet so this is what you'll be doing all along when you get here then now we are increasing we are going to increase with one so we are chaining 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 well, the reason of increasing is now we are working on our hips because the hips, um, there must be a, an increase for the hips because um, the hip, hip, your hips are not the same uh, measurements like the, your waist. So now we start to increase. So as you chain, as you chain ten, you will then you skip your chains as you have been doing, and then you insert your hook on that first single crochet that you did. And you make a single crochet on the second one you make a single crochet then you chain 10 after chaining 10 on that single crochet that is next you make another single crochet like this second single crochet you make a second single crochet you chain 10 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so you do the same thing and and then next you make a single crochet single crochet you chain 10 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this is the fourth row where we have increased so work on on the row until um we are back where we started then i'll show you what to do uh, when you get there so here we are at the end um, of our fourth roll on banking chains so you will slip stitch on top of that chain one that we made and this is how it looks then you chain one then you work on that first that first um, stitch on with a single crochet and work a second single crochet so now because we increased here we are not this this roll we are not going to increase and we work two rows without increasing then after working two rows without increasing I will show you uh, what to do so chain 10 then you know what to do when you get here you work your single crochet the second one single crochet you chain 10 and then you work your single crochet here another single crochet so you will continue working on 10 chain until you are back um, where we started then you will work two rows of of, of or chaining 10 without adding then i'll meet you after making two rows of 
uh, chaining 10 then I'll then we increase again so here we are on the 60 row um, of chain 10 and you will slip stitch on top of that ch of, um, chain one that we made so you slip stitch like this so I worked these two rows without adding and um, making chain 10 so now we are increasing again you will chain uh, you will chain one already we have chained one and work on single crochet single crochet on the next one and now we are increasing we'll chain um 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so when you get here you know what to do you work on single crochet single crochet chain 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 then you do a single crochet so you will do like this until um you are back where we started we started here so you will chain 11 work on your two single crochet here you chain 11 you work on your two single crochet you chain 11 you work on your single crochet until you are back here then when you are back here i will show you what to do so we are at the end of our row of our chain 11 so we will slip stitch on that first chain one that we made and we start working on the single crochet Do not forget to chain one and work on your single crochet. So remember, we added 11, um, 11 chain here. So now two more chains uh, we, we are not going to add. So we'll be chaining um, 11, then without adding. Then you will work on two more rows, chaining 11. Uh, then I'll, uh, you will add after working on two more rows of chaining 11. So here we are at the end of our row uh, where we were chaining 11. Now we are going to add for the last time. So now we slip stitch on top of that one chain that we made like this and work on first single crochet, second single crochet. Now we are adding uh, one last time. Remember I worked two of these ones of um are chaining 11 now we are adding uh, with another one which is 12 so after adding 12 uh, you are no longer adding if you want to add you can make it 13 that um, it will depend how your wall and how it will look so now we are adding for the last time which is you will chain 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 then after 12 chain you work on your single crochet you continue working on your single crochet as you skip your chain chain 12 1, 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 then after chaining your your 12 chain you work on the single crochet so now you will work on um 12 chain with, now we are no longer adding anything you just have to work on 12 chain when you get where you started you will do exactly how i show i showed you how to do it you chain 12 you continue working until the length of your skirt so do not add anymore if you want to add you can make it 13 if you feel like it's it's gonna be nice you can make it 13 but mina i ended on 12 chains so um let me explain one more time we worked on um three chains without adding then we added here uh, we, uh, we did not add here we added here so you will also uh, do the same thing but now you are done adding uh, you will only chain 12 and continue working with 12 chain the way I was showing you until you get to the length of your the skirt that you uh, want your skirt to be 
and then i will see you when you get there if you still want to add more chain if you feel like you want it to be more open because some they like it to be more open you can add a 13 chain but now i am working on 12 chains so when i am at the end i will um slip stitch and work on two I will slip stitch and work on two single crochet and chain 12 and work on chain chaining 12 until I get back here until I am um, uh, I have the length of my skirt my desired skirt so I will see you when I'm done with the length of my skirt hopefully you did understand if you don't understand drop a comment I will explain it to you so here we are I am done with the length of my skirt and um, let's measure how uh, the length of the skirt and it's on uh, 20 inches but if you like you can um, put it on 16 or 14 or 15 but mine I liked it to be 20 inches because this is a beach skirt so I think it's nice when it's a bit longer but if you like you can even go more longer than this so I did went ahead to make a string so that when it's too big you can just pull it here and make it um, a string so you can also just make your chain and put a string you know how to put a string you you will like jump to and doing like this i don't know if this makes sense but it's so easy uh when you do it it's just so easy so continue doing the dress and the, the skirt sorry man my mind is thinking of a dress so this is the skirt continue working until you get the land at the end you just leave it like that you remove your hook you tie it the way you you guys know how to do it so this is how it looks and as you saw it on the photos it's just so amazing so thank you guys for watching my movie if you don't my video if you don't understand <laughs> drop um a comment i will try to explain and if you didn't understand but just for a little bit to exp explanation um your first row you will chain nine and um you will chain nine for then you work your rows for three rows chaining nine then you add here you will uh, add you'll be making 10 chain and work two more rows of 10 chains then you start to add again here and you with 11 chain then you add two more chains with 11 chain then you add again here then you'll be making 12 chains then you work two more rows working on on 12 chains then after that you are working on 12 chains 12 chains 12 chains 12 chains until you are at the end you'll be working until you are at the end the way i showed you then when you are when you see the length of your skirt and then you feel like you are enough with uh, the length of your skirt then you you can stop um you can stop working on it if you want it to be longer you continue it to be longer and then you stop where you want it to to be thank you for watching please subscribe this is a new channel like comment and also share my work thank you bye for now and if you are interested in how i did my my top because it's I, I did a black top of the same uh same pattern you can just request i will also upload it if people that want to see thank you bye